I bought cards from Etsy. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we bought cards from another strange place. So last time we bought some stuff from Wish. You guys loved that video. You thought it was really interesting. And I thought it was pretty fun to see what you would get. So I went on Etsy and I said, let's buy some stuff here and let's see how it compares to Wish. Will it be better than Wish or will it be worse? You guys will have to let me know in the comments. We do have a quick giveaway for this video. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have three original print cards and one is a first edition creator from Rise of Destiny. All you have to do, like this video, be subscribed. Let me know, was Wish or Etsy better? Which one had the better results? Let's get right into it. This video is brought to you by Boksu. Boksu is a Japanese snack subscription box. We're gonna open it up and try some of the snacks and then you guys can see if you guys wanna get some as well. All right, let's see what we have in here. It's an unboxing, but food. Look, we're opening snacks here. I brought the Snack Master with me. If it's your first time getting a Boksu box, you get the Seasons of Japan, which is a taste of every season, as they say. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. It's a Snack <laughs> Central right here. Okay, thank you, got a little thank you card there. I mean, this is this is some cool stuff. It's a lot different than stuff we have. There's two of us, so it's perfect. Oh, those look incredible. Wow. <laughs> those look really good. Oh, pumpkin. Yeah, that, that's yours right there. Here's some candy. Looks like dots or whatever. Oh, I love dots. All these different things oh, they have. Oh, green tea. This yeah. box was made for me. Yeah, this is perfect <laughs> for you. Yeah, it looks like they put two in everything. They say it's meant for sharing. That's why I brought someone to share it with. Okay, these look like croutons. Thank that you. Me? Ooh, yeah, check this out. What are those um little Debbie things, but they're brown? Ooh, this thing looks really good. Becky. Yeah, we should be using the book. The book actually gives you... Oh, look at the pretty... There we go. Some info on everything. So there you go. That's really cool. So if you really want to figure out exactly what you're going to try without going into it too crazy. Oh, Here's the croutons. Those are edamame. I love edamame. There's the pumpkin. It's screaming Chelsea. I feel like you need to try the pumpkin. <laughs> and then you can see exactly where they're from with this map. So like all these different parts of Japan, which is really, really cool. Then you can meet exactly who made them. That's really awesome. So it's like you're visiting Japan without visiting Japan. Through food. Yeah. All right, give it a taste. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's like fall and uh and pan. All right, oh. let's try this thing. Get the apple part. Oh, it smells good. That's no, really good. You gotta try this one. Mm. I'm good. If you guys are interested in trying one of these boxes yourself, just use code RUXIN10 in the link in the description to get 10% off your order. Thanks again to Boksu for sponsoring the video. Well, let's get back into it. All right, guys, we have a package. I did not realize what it was because when you buy from these sort of places, they don't really mark. They don't even have the same name as the seller. Like it's a different name. Uh, there's no sort of invoice or anything. So you just open it up thinking like, what is this? And then you're like, oh, that's what that is. So I opened it up real quick. I haven't really looked at anything except for the fact that we know that it is some single cards. So I'm gonna show you guys on screen what the listing was, what I paid. I don't think it was very much, I can't remember. I think it was actually less than Wish, so we're gonna see how it goes here. So we have Bubble Wrap, that's a, that's a good start. Last time we had to, you know, untape everything from Wish. So this, this looks like a little bit better packaging. Let's see what's inside this lot. Let's see if we can get our money's worth here. I'm guessing no, but all oh, right off the bat, guys, we already have a foil card, which if you remember last time, they were few and far between. So this is starting off pretty good compared to Wish. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of foils going here. Okay. So we have DP-10. What is that? Duelist pack? I don't know what DP-10 is, to be honest. Let's see. Is it, If this is a stack of foils, this is actually going to be not too bad. All right. This is uh, interesting. All right. It's actually starting off not too bad. We've got the Justice Bringer. All right, we've got uh, Battles of Legend. So these are coming from all foil sets, but still, even just getting a foil from an all foil set is better than like a common, you know, from like a, a starter deck like last time. All right, Laval, that's a, uh, that looks like a promo or something, the Ghost Trick Jack Frost. There's the Blizzard Wolf, I remember that from Armageddon. That's not too bad. Maybe I'll try and add up what we get. Um, probably not every single card, because there's, you know, there's a lot, but if we get anything decent, we'll add them up. Uh, Narwhal. If you remember last time on Wish, I think our total was like $2 or something. So let's see if we can be $2. I think already we were doing a lot better. Polar Penguin. These are a lot of bolt cards from uh, Armageddon. Oh, wow. A Green Baboon Defender of the Forest? It's a promo. It's only like a dollar, but that's still actually like really cool. It actually looks like it might be in nice condition. Guys, check this out. This is not bad so far, actually. This is pretty good. We've got the... Uh, Iperia, Starry Night Rayel, 
Starry Night, Starry Dragon, actually like close to a dollar card, I think. Here's one we pull from Storm of Ragnarok all the time. These are actually not too bad. All right, I'm going to put the big hits over here and big, you know, a dollar. And then some like, you know, okay stuff. Just stuff from like regular sets, like ultra rares. Um, Starry Night Arrival. I mean, this is honestly so much better, I think, so far. Balefire used to be something. I don't think it is anymore. Astral or Astal. Flamel, a lot of Starry Night cards. So, uh, pretty cool. This guy, we always get him. Legendary Hero Dex, though. This is not the uh, the set version, but that's not too bad. Oh! Yosinju Kama 2 is from... Uh, what is this? I can't remember what this is, but I think it's an actual set. The Secret Forces. Yeah. I mean, that's a Secret Rare. It's all an all-foil set, but it's an actual Secret Rare, so that's not bad. Here's another Secret Rare from that set. This is honestly not bad so far. Fireflint Lady, because I know we did not pay much for this. We did not pay a lot, so anything like worth a dollar is pretty good. Iron Cage. Fireflint Lady was worth something for a while. We might actually check that. That's probably an okay hit. Flower Cardian. Got the uh, Zebra Grass. Flower Cardian. I mean, these are like grouped together really well, like kind of stuff that you would uh, put together. Cool. Before a pal. Hip Hippo. Very nice. And Tenma the Sky Star. Dig of Destiny. Lost Wind. Isn't this a pretty good card? Oh, that's from uh, a tournament pack. I'm actually going to check that one out. That one's pretty good, actually. Okay, we got the Melfi Puppy. The Math Mech Multiplication. All right, so far, this is uh, surprisingly good. All foil sets here, I think. There's an area. Water Charmer is not bad. That's pretty good. Shooting Riser Dragon. Invoked card. Cool. Damage Gate First Edition Shining Darkness Hollow. I mean, it's not in great shape. It has a crease at the bottom. But there's a super rare from Shining Darkness. That's pretty cool. Shadow Spell First Edition S SKE. It's not great condition either. But it's still something. Starstrike Blast Super Rare? Oh my goodness. That's wow. Starstrike Blast Supers can be worth a lot. That's actually really crazy. Rocky Mirror. That's from Raging Battle. Oh my goodness. That's from Shadow of Infinity Super Rare. Look at that. Gene Warped War Warwolf. That's from Strike of Neos. Crazy. Drillroid. I mean, that's from a starter deck, but still a, fo a foil. First Edition Invasion of Chaos? Okay, these are like kind of beat up, but like, guys, this is so much better than Wish so far. Oh my goodness. Like, I know I told you guys to tell me, but like, it's obvious at this point. It's a beatdown. We've got um. Um, Umber Mirage. That reminds me of Umbridge. That's what I was thinking of. Harry Potter. Guys, like just these right here beat Wish out. That is a much, much better, much better showing. That's pretty crazy, actually. We still have a whole other pack here. I can't, oh my, I, I wish I had looked up how much I paid. I think it was like 20 bucks or something. It wasn't much. It was like 20, maybe it was the same. I don't know. It was definitely not much though. Wow, this is impressive, actually. Like, how many decent cards there are. Vision Hero, Gravito, Apparition. We got the Vision Release. Vision Hero Minimum Rate. A lot of Vision Heroes. I haven't even seen a lot of these cards. Probably have, just forgot. Cube Extension, okay. World Legacy Discovery. So far, nothing too crazy on this pile, but, I, but they kind of heated up as we went last time, so maybe this time it'll do that. Battle Wasp Nest. Born from Draconis. Malefic Territory. Malefic Divine. Cubic Casualty. Alright, RIP Cubic. We got the Wind Rose. Machina. Maybe we open the better one first. That might have happened because uh, so far these are not great. These are more bulk stuff. I mean, it's still better than what we got on Wish. A bunch of bulk commons from a starter deck, but... Born from Draconis. Segmental Dragon. Temple of Kings. Hey, we got some gold, some gold cards. That's pretty cool. This is a cool Odeon card. I always love to see this one. Sm okay, Smashing Ground Gold Rare. That's pretty cool for Go Format. Before Mage Trick Clown. We get the final... Whatever that is. The Terminus of Burning Abyss. Oh, I messed it up. Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare is a cool card. I don't think it's worth a lot. Remove Brainwashing. Very cool. Just a very creepy looking card. I mean, she just looks like... <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? All right, Gimmick Puppet. We got a uh, another gold card. Always cool to see those. Celtic Guardian of Noble Arms. I really like this card. I don't think it's worth much, but it looks really cool. I love the gold rare movie pack, personally. 
Lion Alligator. Oh, we uh, skipped one. Do off, okay. Gen X, ally. Silent Psychic Wizard. Okay, we've got Extreme Victory, Super Rare. That's pretty good. Oh my goodness. That one's a little damaged, but uh, that's from Shadow Specters. I actually really like this artwork. Does that not look like just like a blue eyes? I mean, it has the blue eyes, little um, little horns on the mouth. That's very, I mean, that's what I always relate with blue eyes. It just looks like a blue eyes that's purple and black. I've never seen that card. Actually, it looks really cool, actually. Photon Pirate from Z10. Dejin, Presider of Rituals. That's from the Secret Forces. Rapid Warrior. Oh, I keep do Rux and Specialing here, guys. Carboneton. That's from the original Dragos, Dragons of Legend. That's cool. Evil Swarm. Evil Swarm. <laughs> Super Crash Bug uh, from Gen Force. We know that guy. Evil Swarm O Lantern. Aquarian Alessa from Tactical Evolution. I haven't been putting stuff over here, have I? That's cool. Gravedigger or Grave Squirmer, not Gravedigger. One Eye Skill Gainer. I thought that said Skilled Gamer at first. So I was like, that's good. Divine Dragon Ecthelion from uh, Shadow of Infinity. Very cool. That said, Nordic. Drum Gone. Thrawn. Dances with Beasts. And another Humbarage. It ends the same way. Okay, guys. That was insane. Look how much better this was. Like, actually decent cards. Like, it's like a minty promo. That's really cool. I mean, they're not like the best cards ever or anything. But for, like, the m amount I paid, which you guys will see on the screen, was not much. Compared to Wish, which we still didn't pay that much, but I think we actually paid less for this and got a lot more. Like, there was actually cool stuff in here, which was really surprising from Etsy. I did not expect Etsy to actually have an okay lot. So, it looks like Etsy is better than Wish. I actually am going to be buying stuff from AliExpress as well. So, we're going to be comparing AliExpress, Etsy, and Wish to see which one's the best. Maybe we'll try Mercari as well. I think Mercari usually actually has some really cool stuff, though. So uh, they'll probably win, but maybe we'll try it. Let me know what you guys thought about Etsy in the comments. Like, honestly, like surprising. I mean, it wasn't like the best thing ever, but for what I paid, actually not bad value. I'm actually kind of surprised. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 100,000. Speaking of specials, not really specials, but every special edition, I have all of them. I'm going to be recording it this weekend, and you guys are going to see it next Saturday. So next Saturday... Every special edition ever made will be open on the channel. It's going to be pretty awesome. Can't wait for you guys to see it. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and a